How many of you like Halloween? Everybody loves Halloween. We love to dress up. We love to gently scare people, not scare them too much, but dress up and have fun and run around and get candy. And this is a story about Halloween. It's called Space Case. That rhymes, huh? It rhymes with pace too. Space Case for the pace. There they are, some kids in costumes. It must be Halloween. Ooh, and there is space, space case. And there's a planet. It looks like it must be one that has a ring. Is that Saturn? It came from outer space. What does it look like? A spaceship. To have a look around. And to meet the natives who were not especially friendly. Mm, yeah, a chicken and a cow, not especially friendly. Really, everyone seemed so uncooperative. The thing from outer space was beginning to lose heart. But at the corner of Maple and Elm, some interesting folks appeared. Wow, said Buddy McGee, will you look at that? What a great costume, said Lily. It must be the new kid from down the block, said Mary Louise. Come with us, said Buddy. Isn't that nice? They're inviting him like a good friend would. Trick or treat, shouted Buddy. And a nice lady gave them all treats. Soon the thing was having a fun time. Trick-or-treating was lots of fun. When their bags were full of goodies, the kids stopped at the schoolyard to stuff themselves silly. Trick-or-treat, beeped the thing. There's something weird about that new kid, whispered Lily. Trick-or-treat, maybe he just talked weird. Heading home, Buddy noticed he was being followed. For the first time, he took a good look at that thing. You're not the kid from down the block. Trick or treat, beeped the thing. Do you want to spend the night at my house? Asked Buddy. Mr. McGee let them in. You will like my room, said Buddy. After studying the dictionary, the thing found it easier to communicate. The location of my origin is in outer space, it beeped. I thought so, said Buddy. We'll have lots to talk about in the morning. When Buddy turned out the lights, the thing turned out its lights and lowered its antenna. Mrs. McGee was surprised to see the thing at the breakfast table. What on earth is that, she said. It's from outer space, said Buddy. Oh, yes, dear, said his mother. While Buddy ate his fried eggs, the thing atomized a glass of orange juice. Fantastic toys these kids have, said Mr. McGee. Are you sure you want to come to school, said Buddy. Unquestionably, beeped the thing. I want to observe. Everyone was too excited by Mr. Jones' reptiles to notice the thing. See Mr. Jones' reptiles? Good heavens, beeped the thing. Good heavens, beeped the thing. What peculiar looking specimens. And now, said Mr. Mrs. Mr. Jones, putting away his reptiles, it's time for your space projects. Uh-oh, said Buddy. I forgot to do mine. Calm down, beeped the thing. The first project was a homemade rocket. How primitive, beeped the thing. John Watson, Watson showed a model of Mars. All wrong, beeped the thing. And what do you have to show us, Buddy? Asked Mr. Jones. Before Buddy could reply, the thing proceeded to the front of the class and did some fancy mathematics at the blackboard. Er, said Buddy, that's my robot. 
Very clever indeed, said Mr. Jones. That's worth an A minus. Whew, said Buddy. School was fun, beeped the thing, but I wouldn't want to do it every day. When do we go trick-or-treating? Oh, that's only once a year, said Buddy. Oh, I just remembered an appointment on Jupiter. Wait, cried Buddy, and he explained all about Christmas. Why, that's only two zygots away, beeped the thing. I think I'll come back for that. It started to pick up speed, and in a flash, it was gone. Wow, said Buddy. Do you think he'll really come back for Christmas? So uh, that outer space guy didn't want to go to school every year. He wanted to be here for Halloween and Christmas. That sounds pretty fun. Wait till he hears about Easter and the 4th of July with fireworks and Valentine's Day with chocolate and candy hearts. Maybe he'll want to come back for every holiday.